price has risen. Working languages of this conference, I think I can stick to my mother tongue. Uh, but before I do that, before I uh, switch to Russian, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to all the interpreters here. Uh, you are doing a great job. I know how difficult it is. Uh, we all thank you very much. It's brilliant, it's beautiful. I'm sure that my uh, words in English and in Greek will be much better than uh, they are in Russian. So thank you once again. Спасибо большое, Евхаристо Парапули. Я хотел бы начать с двух, с двух. So I would like to start giving you two examples that uh, seem to be quite pertinent to our topic here. The first example is the following. Uh, uh, very common is uh, in the internet and in our life, uh, a following picture we have in a room for uh, 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 many adolescents or all, all these adolescents uh, are not looking at each other they look at their mobile phones and the question is what are they doing and the answer is quite simple they communicate with each other either through sms or written texts or texts or exchanging pictures and photos. I'd like to thank Ms. Lozheva, who gave us this example, because this reminded me of what we can see. We have a huge change in communications in the modern world, and this thing has been spread has spread in all dimensions. Uh, we've become uh, witnesses uh, of how we would exchange pictures, etc., in the same hall, in the same venue. So we are already sharing this new reality. Another example, a few years ago in a lecture in my university, I used uh, four verses of a known Russian poet. And I asked the people to tell me who this Russian poet would be. I assumed that they would give the wrong answers. But I wouldn't imagine receiving the correct answer. Uh, at first, there was silence. And then one of uh, the students uh, raised his mobile phone and said, there is no internet connection here. So he could not find in the internet who the poet was. So we have to understand um, how uh, the system of uh, search of knowledge has changed and how much we do depend on that device. Uh, I have been, uh, I'm using a timer in order to make the life of the moderator easier. Now I'd like to apologize in case uh, I, I might sound um, a very absolute, uh, not because I am uh, well convinced of what I'm saying, but because uh, uh, we don't have much time. Now, the fact that we have uh, more um, uh, questions than rather than answers, this is uh, obvious. Uh, this is why we need this analysis uh, uh, to see whether this is realistic or not. Uh, uh, what can we do about this uh, actual threat? We have Three arguments. In Russia, at least, we have two trends. At the beginning of the 90s, there was a, a, an excessive trend um, in favor of technologies. Uh, uh, later, all these things changed, and uh, uh, we said that um, uh, technologies were accepted, etc. This criticism against uh, technology had to do with prejudice, uh, with bias. For example, that there is an evil computer somewhere that might destroy the world. Uh, so as soon as we uh, were transferred to a modern technology world, we see that we saw that um, uh, we weren't able to foresee the risks and dangers. Uh, some of the priests uh, would um, participate in uh, social networking media. 
I'm not sure whether this is risky or not. Uh, however, I'm sure that uh, this uh, action uh, is um, coming before the reaction. I want to point out that in the Orthodox uh, Church of Russia, we are currently drafting a document regarding the position of the church vis-a-vis uh, -vis the modern technologies, uh, the anthropological uh, approach. And uh, I, with great interest, I uh, anticipate um, the uh, presentation uh, uh, by Mr. Horoji. Uh, there are risks regarding the religious life um, uh, and modern technology. Uh, it has been uh, emphasized uh, that Internet um, was not the, the result of a production within the framework of the church, but uh, the development of uh, technology uh, is linked uh, to the concept of progress. This is what we have to understand. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the concept of progress uh, might come against the, uh, the Christian um, uh, ideals. Sometimes there is this linear um, view of history. This is why in antiquity we don't have uh, this linear perception of time. This is why we don't have the respective progress. You can understand that when technology, um, uh, or rather, uh, we need to always bear in mind that technology has its roots in uh, Christianity. Um, what are the risks? If we put the question, what is the purpose of these modern technologies, uh, we can see that uh, technologies want to shift uh, people and transfer them uh, to cyberspace. Uh, there is uh, talk today about virtual reality, a digitalized life, etc. There is uh, uh, this 21st century new view that pertains to digital uh, technology. And I think that this is something that we can discuss. A second risk is uh, something we talked about earlier. Uh, we <coughs> have uh, in uh, the social networking media today uh, the um, concept of having a, an active participation. But on the other hand, uh, we should not forget that uh, salvation is not something that will take place in the virtual life. Uh, Christian ideology is not without culture, but it is somewhere beyond. So if we assume that internet uh, is um, a means uh, for salvation, uh, then uh, we can consider it uh, quite useful. Uh, so we understand that we can um, use it. Of course, uh, not everything can be communicated in a virtual space. We often uh, hear about it being more convenient, uh, more easy to use. But the question that um, is ever rising is, is this uh, always a positive fact? Um, uh, Life in Christ is a feat. Can this be done um, virtually? And another thing, is there an opposite relationship between religiousness and technology? The, should we examine this uh, from the existential point of view? We have said today that the Internet is in the form of a tool, but uh, a tool has to be used in the proper way. We are talking about the need of having the Christian testimony in uh, cyberspace. But how is this Christian testimony to be? Allow me to refer to a personal uh, uh, thing. Um, many years ago, even before internet, everyone was talking about uh, television. 
in um, uh, Russia, where television plays an important part, uh, they used to say that um, uh, the church ought to own its own channel. Uh, there was uh, one uh, claiming that uh, they could um, buy a channel and change the whole, whole uh, country. To me, this whole uh, view sounds naive. And not only that, but it sounds really radically wrong. Uh, the effort uh, would be to place uh, the television set somewhere next to the icons uh, at home. Uh, this is whole, all a mistake. Um, uh, this shows also our relationship with electronic media and the Internet. Uh, and the social networking media as well. Everything should have its place. These things should find their place as tools of a specific use. So in advance, there is, by definition, a limitation. So let us return to the example we started from. The adolescents, the teenagers, so the teenagers who are in the internet world, they have their gadgets at hand, and we can draw certain conclusions, hypothetically speaking. First of all, that we need to be present in this digital world. Certainly, these children, these teenagers should be able to recognize us. We should use such language so as for them to be able to follow us. And lastly, we need to let them know that there is something so beautiful that will lead them to place their uh, phones down and go to church. And the uh, last thing is that we talked about changes today, uh, saying that changes are a sign of imperfection. Yes, this could be true, but one of the stereotypes of uh, teenagers who avoid coming to church is that because that they feel that they will be accused for their own scenes, etc. There will always be this negative criticism. We should not forget that the gospel is not about how man is today. The gospel talks about how man can become in the future, how man can change in his man's efforts to imitate uh, Christ, uh, to follow the example of Christ. If uh, uh, the media world is uh, a world without future, then we too have to say that we need to place a part in uh, the way a man will change in the future. Thank you, and Christ has risen.